Columbia State does have a collection of art and it's open to the, the public if people would like to come in and just wander the halls and look at the various pieces. The gallery is here not only for the students but for the community and all of Middle Tennessee. This is an exhibit from the Tennessee State Museum which is related to civil rights but specifically to the uh, sit-ins in Tennessee in the early 60s. And I thought that in addition to just the exhibit, it would be good to have various African-American artists in the gallery to coincide and correspond to the exhibit. I've got five artists at this point, three from Nashville, one from Huntsville, and one from Columbia. We have a telephone, a dial telephone, which most kids today wouldn't know how to use. We have a mimeograph machine, which flyers were printed from. And if you're a kid in school in the 60s, you know what a mimeograph machine is. You can remember that smell. As a student, if they would just stop here in the, in the prior gallery, it's just a break from the rigors of, uh, of the classroom schedule. But I think that uh, the artistic process just broadens our, our ability to think creatively. Well, in addition to the visual arts, I would love to get some everything from um, furniture making to uh, pottery, basket weaving. There is no limit to the number of different exhibits I would like to get in here. To have art as a part of our life is a good thing. It, it adds beauty, it adds creativity, it adds enjoyment to our life. And uh, that's plenty of reason right there, I believe.